Hi everyone, welcome to this reading. I have my crystal ball off to the side, so I will be scrying throughout this message. If you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different, and if you're returning, welcome back. You know how we do. If it doesn't resonate for you, if you're forcing the story to fit or arguing with it in any way, just leave it behind for the people who it's meant for. So channel members, you will have a message that's posted Tuesday or Wednesday, so definitely check that out. And if you're interested in channel memberships, that link is always in the description box below. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay. Taking a step aside. And allowing spirit to pass through me. Opening up to receive information. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, um, this is definitely for the mediumship collective. That's definitely who this message is coming for. Um, so somebody here who has experienced with mediumship, um, do you have a friend that passed within recent times? So I want to say this is within the last two or three years. Uh, and there seems to be something here where the connection is being dropped somehow. And we haven't seemed to, um, I'm almost feeling like I'm not supposed to pull the card that fell on the floor. I think that that was actually a symbol for me, uh, the connection being dropped. And so there's some sort of information or a little piece of information that maybe we don't have because that connection has been dropped here. This seems to be uh, a connection that you may be trying to forge or you may be trying to work on as this individual moves through spirit. Uh, but there seems to be some sort of difficulty in actually getting that to happen. Okay, so what is this confirmation of? Okay, so for some of you, you've been a little worried about that. You're wondering, I get two stories. Uh, either you've been wondering if this person has something from their lifetime that is holding them back or that they're, they're upset about or something like that. And then the other story is wondering if something has happened to them, like if they're trapped somehow. The confirmation that's coming through is uh, the fact that you are worried about this and the information that's coming through is to let you know that this person is actually quite free. Uh, we have least of the shadows. This seems to be worried that um, someone here within the mediumship collective has because you've been having a hard time making contact. Um, this card on the bottom is telling me something about the circumstances, situations, events, <laughs> barometric pressure pressure, the weather, <laughs> the moon phase. There's certain things that have to be aligned in order to allow you to experience this individual. Um, and it it's not that they're somehow inaccessible to you, for example, but there's some there's something going on there that the situation just isn't right to be conducive to allowing you to um, make contact with this person. So if you've had a friend, for example, that has passed away, uh, this is why you would not be able to do this right now. I don't know why I said, for example, maybe it could even extend beyond friendship, but I am getting that it's something with friends. If it is a friend, it's an individual that for some of you, um, not, not all of you, this is just for some of you, it feels like somebody that maybe you didn't keep in close contact with uh, towards the end. Here with ecstasis, this is almost like a message is coming through. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so ecstasis is about ecstasy, it's about happiness. Again, um, look at this very freeing sort of energy that's coming here. And this is the reason why, right? We have the healer healing, the singer of healing on the bottom right there. Um, and this is the number 10. So it's a, the end of something, a new beginning. So this individual, whoever it is that you're concerned about, there's this message that's coming forward uh, that is that this individual is quite free. This individual is going through what a lot of spirits experience once they actually cross over. And that is this sort of bliss, right? They're not in a realm where they're bogged down by their issues and the things that you know, really were um, built within us in our neural pathways from habits and behaviors. And it allows us to step back and see the bigger picture. Uh, a lot of times the dead will explain that one of the processes that they seem to go through is that after they die, they live their life from other people's uh, viewpoints. And so they get to see the effect they have on other people. They even get to see how important they were to other people. So there's an immense amount of healing that's taking place for this individual. In this person's life, it seems like they have 
had a little bit of the wrong idea of their value or their place within people's life. And so they're getting to see now just how much they were loved or how much they were genuinely appreciated. And even for some of them, how much of an impact they had on other people. Um, I think that whoever this reading is about, uh, and I do feel more of a feminine energy. Some of you, it may be a masculine. If it is a masculine energy, this individual seems to have passed away quite young because um, they didn't really solidify into their masculine energy all the way, which tends to be something that happens for um, a lot of males as they get older. Now, this individual was probably uh, more of a feminine energy, and uh, there is something regarding a health issue that was taking place for this individual. Um, not for all of you, but for some of you, it was something within the lower body, like the lower half of the body. Um, there's also this energy that's coming through that uh, I'm seeing... I'm seeing the chariot card on my wall, which is the sign of cancer. I'm seeing Scorpio. Um, there's a scorpion uh, picture on my wall, which is the sign of Scorpio. And I'm seeing a snake picture over here on my wall. I've got like a whole wall of pictures over here that sometimes I reference in my readings. And the snake for me really represents that um, transition. So the snake for me also can sometimes represent Scorpio as well. So there's like double confirmation of Scorpio. So for someone, definitely this was a Scorpio. Uh, for some of you, it may have been a Cancer. It can be any sign, but those are the two that are really standing out for me. Um, also, there's a goddess sort of energy over here in one of the pictures. And so for me, that's the sign of Aquarius or Virgo. Um, there is a, there is this energy of there was something crystallized in this person's belief systems that really started to fracture the moment that they began this learning process they go through like a period of time if um uh you are a medium and you have experienced a lot of death and a lot of transition you've probably noticed that they seem to stick around for a little while before they actually uh get i, I want to say pulled onward um and this is a time for them to close out things for them to um be around the grieving for them to have I don't even want to presume to know everything that happens within that space because it it does seem kind of complicated. Um, and then as they move onward and they are pulled over, it seems a little bit like they go through this period of silence, um, almost like that high priestess sort of energy. And some of you may even see them depicted that way with like the veil and uh, some sort of like oath of silence for a little while as they observe. They're observing things, they're learning things. And um, this individual seems to be in the phase that's removed from that and they've come into a great amount of healing. So they've already been through those sorts of lessons. There was some sort of belief that this individual had that was very crystallized within their life. And it took a great deal of time for them to break out of that crystallized belief, whatever it was. It feels a little bit to me like this person had a lot of limitations and didn't necessarily believe in themselves very well. And so that's something that they have been liberated from. Uh, there's also some sort of major wounding that happened to this individual in their lifetime in the heart space. And they're, they also are coming forward with a message about being healed from that as well. Um, let's see. Okay, so the singer of intuition. This is this is somebody. Okay, so we have another card of healing that I do want to talk about. Tobira of the waters. I can't put it up because of the nudity in the card. Um, but this is about emotional healing, and so there's a double confirmation there that this individual has experienced a major emotional healing. Um, and with the singer of intuition, we have the number seven. This is the going inside, really connecting to this uh, true source essence. What this tells me is that for some of you, you are aware that there's an aspect of this person that remains with you. Um, and this is the link that you have to use to uh, establish contact. So just so you know, you may be a medium who has been trying externally for a very long time. Um, and there is something to be said about when people that are really close to us pass, being able to access them internally. And so this is another method for for you to try to try to access them internally as opposed to externally because you may have better results doing that okay uh guardian at the gateway for some of you that that is the very clear message is that that is the thing that is standing in your way and that once you actually do this and you tap into your own intuition intuition is inside um once you tap into that rather than trying to sense something external to you uh, that will be what crosses you over that threshold into being able to actually establish contact whoever this um friend is it feels very much like there was a very long beautiful story between the two of you um there's some element of it that seems a little difficult for some reason 
Uh, I don't know if that involves a move or maybe, um, you know, one person was the opposite sex and so they were always in relationships and their, you know, significant others didn't like them talking to you, whatever it is. Um, and there, there just seems to be some sort of um, opposite hardship. I, I don't know how else to put it other than that. Um, and that seems to be a major theme that was inside of your story with this individual. It wasn't always easy. And I don't mean like you didn't get along and stuff, though certainly that could be the case. There was something that wasn't necessarily easy, but that dis-ease, there was easiness inside of it. I don't know how else to put it other than that. So hopefully you understand what I mean. Um, I do want to say that there is a little bit of a masculine energy that is stepping forward. So if this was a feminine, uh, for example, because I am very strongly feeling feminine energy, uh, this was either a feminine who knew how to take control and had to be her own leader in a certain way, uh, even though she maybe didn't believe in herself entirely. So for example, a place where we would see this is a person who acts as a caregiver, for example. So they're used to putting affairs in order, but when it comes to taking care of themselves, they may not necessarily always understand that they deserve that. You know what I mean? Um, or sometimes they put themselves as caregiver in situations that really aren't uh, mutually beneficial or are taking advantage of them. So things like that. Or it could be a, a masculine energy, again, I feel kind of young, uh, who had more feminine qualities. So they were very nurturing and kind to you, for example. Okay, I'm hearing one more card. Okay, and this is honesty. When I see honesty, what this is really speaking to me about is about um, being seen, our heart space connecting, uh, not necessarily needing words to interact. And this may be part of the conflict here with this number four. Number four for me is a number of conflicts. Um, and one of the messages that's coming through is to understand that even though you may not be hearing things, even though you may not be seeing them, once you connect to this inner guidance, you're going to understand somewhere in your heart space, in your feeling space, that you are actually connected and that you have always been connected. Um, this is some. This is a very authentic sort of energy. And that type of authenticity rarely represents itself with uh, a facade, right? So like um, showing up and showing us their human form or showing up and showing us a bunch of words. Uh, this is usually something that is felt in very deep spaces rather than in traditional ways that we often, you know, understand these things to take place. So uh, what else is there? Is that it? Okay, it feels like that's it. I'm being drawn very much to three major colors. And those colors are green, blue, and purple. So this is the heart space, the throat chakra moving into the third eye, and then the seventh chakra. So there's higher chakras. Um, this tells me that this is an individual that someone's been thinking about a great deal because we're, we're focused somewhere around the head, but we're also focused on the heart. We're focused on things that we wish we would have said to the person quite possibly as well. Um, I want to also point out that the authenticity, the honesty card is what's showing up in the heart space. So this is quite possibly where their energy is, um, most vibrant within you. If you do choose to look within for their energy. With the throat chakra, there's something about opening up our sound or our own authenticity, right? So going inside, working inside those internal places. And then inside the seventh chakra, this is about intuition. When we talk about the seventh chakra, this is that aspect of us that's non-dual. It's connected to everything. And so to understand that as you look within and you'll find something probably here within the chest space, it could even extend into a little bit of that solar plexus space, um, it's almost like using the energy of love as the energy that pulls you towards the individual. So for example, for some of you, you have an easier time understanding that concept with sound, writing the sound, especially if you astral travel or you journey, um, using the drum to put you into trance, using the sound to carry you to a different space. Um, it's almost like that, but with that love energy, using that energy of love that you have for this person to carry you to the person or to in inward, right? To uh, wherever it is that you can contact them. This is a little bit of a stranger flavor for the mediumship readings, uh, but there does seem to be somebody that is trying to make contact. I do kind of expect that this sort of message will be coming out. Um, as we approach mid-October, for me, the veil feels thinnest at mid-October, not the end of October. Um, and so I do expect that I have more mediumship readings coming out as we approach October. So uh, if this resonated for you, please hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment. And until next time.